Hello everybody and welcome to Bobby Media. Today we are comparing the iPad 2017 with the Asus Sunscreen MB16C in their functionality as a mobile multi-screen setup. So let's begin with the unboxing of the iPad. Of course, first of all, here is the iPad 2017 in space gray. We got the lightning charging cable, manuals and the power adapter. So that's basically it. I also ordered a non-original smart cover. This is a bit different from the original smart cover since it has a case on the back side. So next up we got the Asus Sunscreen, a very beautiful looking package. First of all we see the included smart cover, some manuals, the USB-C connection cable, a little adapter for USB-A to USB-C and we also get the Asus Smart Pen which isn't so smart after all. On the second layer of this package we got the monitor, it feels pretty light. Let's put this aside and here we got the beautiful looking Asus Sunscreen. So here we go, the iPad and the Asus Sunscreen with their smart covers. Let's start with the first test. This is about latency, which is the most relevant point in my testing here. So I'm starting up a little logic project and I'm gonna put the video in between the screens so I can see the uh, latency. Okay, so here you can see the iPad has a lot of latency. What I'm using here is the app called Duet Display, which has the best reviews in the App Store. Let's bring it over to the Asus Send screen and I'm, I'm really impressed because I can't notice any latency. It is, it is really super smooth. Also when I'm going around with my mouse cursor on the screen, it is smoother than on the iPad. So this is a bummer. The latency on the iPad with Duet Display is really bad. In fact, it is that bad that I can't use it for my purposes. Although the, the brightness and the colors are Apple-like really nice, I thought this is it. So, Asus One, iPad Lost. But wait, there is another application called Air Display, and let's do this test again. Here I got my video screen and as you can see the latency is much much better here with the air display than on the duet display. So this is so this is almost a game changer for me. Let's compare these three again side by side. On the left side we have duet display, in the middle we have the Asus Zen screen and on the right side we have air display 3. And again, slow down the video material to 25%. Here you can clearly see that also the air display has a bit of latency, which is a deal breaker for me when it comes to perfectly synchronized sounds to videos. Let's open up the mixing panel and bring it here to the iPad. The faders do not react on my fingers. I'm not sure if this is a problem of the app or it is a Logic Pro related problem. So let's try this again in uh, Adobe Premiere. And as you can see, I can pretty smoothly adjust the faders. This is what I have wanted for Logic Pro 10. Here we see the three screens with a color testing wallpaper. The iPad on the left side here is pretty bright. It is like almost a little bit brighter than the MacBook late 2013. On the Asus Sense screen we see it isn't that bright than the Ardo 2. And the colors aren't really saturated. It's like almost washed out. It's, it's not bright, it's not colorful, it is looking boring. Yeah, you can use it for office, but not for color correction or, or, or even video production. It looks pretty bad. Let me know what be your perfect mobile external monitoring setup in the comment section. If you like this video, hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can see if I should make more of these reviews. Have a nice day and goodbye.